Hey everybody, welcome to the lead off spot on YesNetwork.com. This is our first episode. We're just going to be kind of previewing series coming up for the New York Yankees. This time we're doing the Pittsburgh Pirates. We're joined by John Flaherty. Flash, thanks for coming on with us. Pleasure. I've never been a lead off hitter. So this is well, yeah, this is the for first me. for you. you. Actually, yeah. you are the first guest on JCTV with Jack Curry. So you kind of like the YesNetwork.com guinea pig. All right, that took off. So I'm hoping the same <laughs> thing here, Doug. All I right. hope so too. I hope so too. So, Flash, we're talking about the Pittsburgh Pirates here. Obviously, a team that the Yankee fans may not be accustomed to seeing. Who's someone in that lineup who, who you might want to highlight as far as, you know, a guy who might bring some excitement? Well, first of all, Doug, last year it was such a feel-good story, what happened in Pittsburgh and uh, winning that play-in game and then going against St. Louis. Uh, they haven't kind of built on that momentum. Uh, but with that being said, I'm not that worried about it. Clint Hurdle is one of these guys who came in there, changed around the atmosphere, changed the personality of that franchise. I expect them to get back in the race at some point. But you mentioned a player to look out for. You know, Andrew McCutcheon gets all the attention on that club, and rightfully so. But they have a very talented second baseman in Neil Walker, a switch hitter. He has some power, eight bombs already. Uh, they have some thunder in their lineup. Uh, if you look at their offensive numbers, they're kind of in the middle of the pack, but I expect it to get a little bit better. Yeah, almost as a baseball fan, you want to see them back in the playoffs because it was so awesome in Pittsburgh right. last year in October. It was like those fans had never experienced anything like it. Well, they've been waiting a long time since, what, the Barry Bonds and right. Jim Leland days, and uh, you could tell they were having a good time in that city last year. Uh, they're going to be in for a tough race. Milwaukee's gotten off to a great start. It's going to be a lot of catching up to do. They have the pieces. They have some guys on the DL. They will get better as the year goes on. So in terms of the Yankees' rotation in this series, we're going to see some sort of combination, Phelps, Crota, and Nuno. What can you expect from guys like Nuno and Phelps? And What do they have to do to keep the Yankees in games? Well, you know, you look at both of those guys, Doug, and I consider them number five starters in, right. in a big league ball club. Uh, you can win with those guys, but they have to be fine. They, you know, Nuno has had trouble with location sometimes. He pitches better on the road than he does in Yankee Stadium. That's a concern for me. He's got to figure that out. Phelps is a guy that I think can do a serviceable job, probably go a little deeper into games than Nuno. But when you talk about the three starters, the one that jumps out to me is Kuroda. Kuroda, at this point in the year, has to win every one of his starts with their rotation being depleted. You win your start if you're Kuroda. You take the pressure off the other guys, the younger guys. If he can do his job, the other guys should slot in. Fine. Yeah, it's amazing when you think about how much the Yankees right now are relying on Tanaka and Kuroda sure. as the two original guys, the original two in the rotation. Uh, next, we're going to the Pirates rotation. You have Morton, you have Volquez, and Cole starting in this series. Mm -hmm. Who out of those three are you looking forward to seeing? Well, I, without a doubt, it's Cole. I mean, he kind of burst on the scene last year and had a big year. This year, his numbers are not as good, giving up the long ball a little bit more than he did last year. You wonder coming into Yankee Stadium, will that be a concern? Uh, it probably will be. I mean, Yankee Stadium plays small, you got to be honest. But he has a big-time arm. I think the Yankees, you know, when they, when they haven't seen pitchers, especially young power pitchers, sometimes they have a little bit of a trouble. So that's a matchup that we'll pay attention to in the series. And while we have you, obviously, a former uh, MLB catcher. What do you think, in terms of Brian McCann, if you play first base and you sign with the new team, you're going to play first base just like you did with the old team. Sure. But at catcher, you have to learn all of these pitchers, their tendencies, their signs, their pitches, how mm -hmm. they break, etc. Do you think that's possible that it's been kind of distracting for him and, and he hasn't been able to focus on his job at the plate? I don't know if distracting is the right word. I'm actually going to go the other way, Doug, and say that if you're a catcher and you work with a staff you can go 0 for 4 and get a win and go into the clubhouse saying, you know what, I did a good job with Tanaka tonight. I did a good job with Nuno tonight. And it gives you some satisfaction, some gratification that you're helping the club in some capacity. I think the worst thing for a free agent signing when you come in and you struggle offensively, you don't have any other part of your game to help the club. So I would actually say that McCann is maybe taking a little pressure off his offensive game because of the job he's doing behind the plate. Obviously, he goes home at night and he's like, you know, driving home. What's going on? I got to get some hits. I got to hit some home runs. He'll be fine. But I think he can kind of think about the defensive side of the game and realize he's doing a decent job. To and have you, have you been impressed with his work behind the plate? Oh, without a doubt. His, his throwing is better than I thought it was going to be. Gary Tuck, the catching instructor, has done a nice job in spring training, kind of cleaning some things up. But when you watch him run a staff, that's one of the big reasons the Yankees got him, obviously, was the presence behind the plate. He will hit. It's just a matter of time.